ever think of buying a house right now in the southern California areas and you know you want to move so you're thinking and debating if you are to move in OC County or what's the difference is there a big difference as far as the home price in getting that house you want to break away or be divorced to your landlord right you just do not want to be a renter anymore you just want to be in your own place you want to get your own house you want to be a renter anymore you just want, you want your own privacy that's the big question right so you are debating do you or can you afford to get the house that you want right now in today's crazy crazy market low inventory then you have house price gone through the roof right now there's the uh, mortgage rates interest rates right now it's 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 very very high and you know how can you marry that to a house price that is through the roof and mortgage rates are 10 percent, right 6.8 if you're lucky very very high what do you do what can you do which county you can live by in today's county so i actually have to mention that i right now live or work between the two counties which is i live in riverside and actually um, work in orange county okay so i can tell you the traffic that i go through on a daily basis right i can tell you how hard it is if you are working in oc and living in riverside county it is actually a little hard but you know it depends it depends on how and what work you are doing for you to be commuting on a daily basis so i do real estate i work in oc again and then live in, in um, riverside but the commute for me is a little acceptable okay because when i leave home so i live around um, nine o'clock or eight o'clock so my, my hours are uh, depends really like i have to meet the traffic for me to be at least have a good commute right so coming from riverside to my office it usually takes me a good 40 minutes um, if i'm lucky some days i can only do it 35 minutes right but with this i don't do um there is actually an option also of doing the fast track or the um you know like the, um the fast um you know you have to pay of course with a toll um it will cost you at least a good 15 dollars yes if or more right but i don't i don't i don't want to pay 15 dollars or more on a daily basis right because it's not just that that's only one way coming from riverside to here so if you're coming out right but if you're in a really rush and in a hurry yes you have the option to do the toll right but 30 to 40 minutes it will only take me to get here and again that's coming from 9 a.m or a little bit over eight it's not really that bad but yes for some people that is a lot of minutes or, or almost an hour commute you know one way so it depends it depends on you if you can take that if you can really commute one way for an hour then i think it might be worth it for you to be coming from riverside and work here in lc right now um going the other way which is um i typically leave oc around 6 45 to 7 o'clock that's the latest I can go and it will only take me 36 minutes 35 minutes to go home right no traffic and I was basically uh, pretty much 95% of the time it's just straight up just just no traffic at all but if there's a traffic there's an accident you know during that time then it will uh, probably take me like a good hour hour 15 minutes so um, again it really depends but the bottom line is that if you can take the commute an hour an hour 15 minutes the most then you will be okay you can probably take it work in oc or around la and um you know like some part of la that is towards um right around oc um kind of but then you can tolerate that i can't right but it's up to you again it's really up to you but then um that's one of those decisions that you can make but for me i think it's feasible you can do it because i can do it if you can but if you're really kind of person that is you know 20 minutes top where you can of course go to work you have just want that option then of course you have just, just pros and cons in you know um in, in your decision in getting that house whether in oc or riverside area why buy a home in orange county california it's a question many grapple with and today we're here to provide some clarity Orange County, often fondly referred to as the OC, is a beautiful coastal paradise that offers an unparalleled lifestyle. Its first major advantage is its stunning geography. 
With miles of pristine beaches, rugged mountains, and picturesque parks, it's a nature lover's dream. Additionally, Orange County boasts a thriving economy with a plethora of job opportunities in sectors like technology, healthcare, and entertainment. But like any other place, Orange County isn't without its downsides. The cost of living here is significantly higher than the national average. From groceries to healthcare, expect to pay premium prices. Housing, in particular, is a major expense with median home prices far surpassing those in many other regions. Secondly, traffic can be quite a challenge. The county's popularity and dense population mean that roads are often congested, especially during peak hours. To recap, Orange County, California offers a high quality lifestyle with breathtaking natural beauty and a robust job market. However, it also comes with a higher cost of living and heavy traffic. Whether these factors make it the perfect place for you to call home or suggest looking elsewhere, the decision ultimately rests in your hands. You have the power to weigh these pros and cons and choose the path that best suits your lifestyle and financial capacity. Remember, buying a home is one of the most significant decisions you'll ever make. It's not just about the property, it's about the life you'll lead there. Welcome to Riverside County, a place where dreams come true. Let's dive in. Imagine this, you're waking up in Riverside County and the first thing you see are gorgeous landscapes. The rising sun lights up the scenery with cozy colors, making everything look peaceful. The high mountains, lush woods, and curvy rivers all glow in glow in the early morning sun, adding to the tranquility. Like every other place, there's ups and downs, Riverside County is a home for over 2.4 million in population. Take note, it consists around 90 cities, and Riverside City being the biggest city with population. Second largest city is Corona, followed by Moreno Valley, with around 200,000 in population. A bonus best areas in Riverside City, in my opinion, are these ones to check out. These neighborhoods in Riverside California are worth checking out for. First, the downtown Riverside cannot go wrong. Second, Canyon Crest. Third, Wood Streets, Mission Grove, Orange Crest, La Sierra. Victoria, this pocket of town was originally part of the Arlington Heights subdivision. Old and historic neighborhood among others. Diverse restaurants, good rated hospitals, and of over 20 colleges and universities. Riverside County is bordered on the north by San Bernardino County, on the northeast by La Paz County, Arizona, on the southeast by Imperial County, on the southwest by San Diego County, on the west by Orange County, and on the northwest by Los Angeles County. The San Jacinto Peak, nearly 11,000 elevation, is one of the highest peaks among many other surrounding mountains. This beauty can make you forget the busy city life, but reality strikes when you join the slow moving traffic on the 91 highway. It's packed and sluggish where every minute seems to drag on on forever. It feels like you're stuck in an endless queue of cars with no way out. Still, there's something attractive about Riverside County. Perhaps it's the more affordable housing compared to the expensive costs in Orange County. Lower costs mean less worry and more becoming a part of this lovely place doesn't have to break the bank. But remember, everything comes at a cost. Affordable housing means more people move in. More people bring life and energy to Riverside County, but it also brings more noise and competition for space. It's a difficult situation trying to maintain the beauty of this place while making room for more people. So remember, with lower prices come more people. It's all about finding the right balance in this pretty place. Housing means more people. So take your time, do your research, and make a decision that you'll be happy with for years to come.